right. This is the part I hate, you guys will like, Bear really likes. Um, and, and while this is what everybody expects when they see a police dog, it's the least used thing on the street. Uh, I worked a dog for 10 years and had probably five street dogs. But we found hundreds of fines with uh, narcotics, articles, and bad guys, and we didn't have to bite very many of them. So it is a use of force, and just like with anything else in police work, we, we keep the force to a minimum. We use the force necessary to, to bring the suspect in. So we're going to show this, and uh, again, I'm going to give my disclaimer to Puppy in, in the training part of this. Um, I do want to show you guys, you guys may have seen it with the demo we did before. I'm going to be using a baton. It's actually a piece of bamboo that's been split. And why we do this, it's um, when a dog is apprehending a bad guy, especially if they're on drugs, it's actually combat. And we want to teach the dog what to expect in a fight. And if you think about it, if you, you went and you, you talked to a prize fighter, a boxer, you wouldn't want his championship fight to be the first time he ever got punched in the mouth. So what we do is we teach the dogs to expect an adversary to have a weapon. And this one is a nice way to teach it because it's loud, it makes a lot of noise, and it can be intimidating to some dogs. And we teach them to work through that. Um, but it won't hurt him. And when you see me working him on the bike, you'll notice that he isn't being hit hard. Uh, it's it's very noisy and it looks it's a bigger show than it's an actual action. So um, and he'll pay me back tenfold for it. So <laughs> we're gonna uh, okay, you ready? We'll do uh halfway down talk about the, the way to determination of the the two ways we can both up down and then uh, right up. bad guy does something, uh, say if we go up down, down there to pat him down, take the weapon from him, uh, if he makes an aggressive move towards the dog, goes to hit the dog, or goes to try to run away, the dog is allowed to bite him. So it's really up to the, the, the person and, and, what they, and what they do to determine if they get bit or not. He's got a psych himself. Yeah. <laughs> I got him on the What we like is for the dog to push into the bite, and you'll notice when I stop moving, he'll push me forward. We like that better. It's an aggressive. Oh my okay. god. And we teach that he gets to control the bad guy by doing that. Oh my god. <laughs>
moving. They're up! We want to train him so that he does his job to perfection. And if you notice, he's close. We, we did a practice state certification last week, and uh, my, minus the handler making just one or two errors, darn near aced it. Bear aced it. Tim was real close. I showed up. Yeah, he showed up. All he's got to do is drive him to the scene, let him get out, do his work, put him back in the car. Feed him at night. Aww. Pet him once in a while. Yeah. I, yeah, I should put it on Twitter. Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. Next week. Uh -oh. So we'll entertain any question you guys have. Uh, if you want to talk more about this device, like I said, it's, it's something that's important to me that you understand where we're coming from on it. Um, and the big thing, and that's why I was, I was hoping Channel 10 would make it as well, is uh, our advocate friends. Um, since 1969, the city of Newark has not provided the funding for any of the 25 police dogs we have. 1969. I was four, Captain. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hard time. Um, and I'll get emotional when I talk about this. This is a unit um, that is probably one of the longest continuous running canine units in the state of Ohio, if not the United States. We had a, Did we not have this lecture the other day? Any bad police work that we do with Bear, with Dave and Ike, not only could end a continuous canine unit since 1969, it could also affect every handler in the United States. There's two court cases ordered by the Supreme Court just last week in Florida. Both of them were Florida cases, but they will have immediate effects upon the Newark Division of Police as soon as the rulings come out. And I've challenged these guys to never make a Supreme Court case. It's, it's not worth it and it hurts police work. We're out here to do a great job, and we can only do that job by the donations and the heartfelt donations from our citizens and our local organizations and corporations. Um, it, it means the world to me to know that even in these economic times, we have people who see the value in what we do. So it's, I, I extend my, my very heartfelt thank you to all of you. That being said, before I get too wound up, <laughs> if you guys would like, uh, we'll take some photos. I, I got my uh, department guy here to take some photos. Um, if you guys want individual photos uh, with uh, Bear, we're more than happy, but I would like to get it started. You guys, just everybody will kind of form you out here. I assume we want some sunlight to the, to the front. Is that correct? So you guys can go out here to the front. Uh, we'll put Bear in, in front of you. And, uh, Thank <laughs> you.